Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Hey YouTube, this is Son of Liberty. I apologize for my absence from YouTube lately. I know it's been a little while since I've dropped a video. I have had my hands completely just full of life, uh, which is not always a bad thing. I've been focusing a lot of my career and I've been trying to hunt as much as I can. So without further ado, uh, first let me apologize. Second, let's go ahead and get into this review. Now, uh, the last Raven Concealment product that I left you guys with was the Raven Concealment um, Idolin. Uh, or Edelon, as a lot of you guys like to call it. Um, this is a unbelievable holster, okay? Now, uh, the reason why we're talking about this for just a second is because Raven Concealment is on the forefront of really development, okay? Now, I mean, they're coming out with things that nobody else in the industry has done. And that's one of the reasons that I love their research and development department um, uh, and just the company as a whole because of you know, if you, if you think about the holster as a whole, there's only so many ways to skin a cat, okay? If you think about a holster, how many different ways can you design a holster? Well, Raven Concealment has, has proven time and time again that they are pushing that envelope uh, when it comes to development. Now, so the uh, belt claw, as we saw with the Idolin, was the first of its kind to come out on the market, all right? Now, I know what some of you guys are thinking. They just took the Vanguard II threw a belt claw on there and that was it. Well, that's what I initially thought until I'd done my research and started really looking at it a little bit more in depth. Um, so let's take a look at the original uh, Vanguard 2 from Raven Concealment, okay? Here it is, um, which was one of the uh, biggest and uh, actually the biggest smallest thing in the industry uh, when it first came out. Uh, it features the uh, one-way button okay uh, which is actually attached to the raven concealment um, which i believe is a nylon reinforced uh, rubber strap okay this thing is unbelievable it, it is adjustable okay and then you've also got the channel for um, your trigger guard okay now one of the things that um, really kind of set this apart was the ability to be as lightweight as possible, be completely safe while carrying your handgun, all right? So that's one of the things that I love about um, the Vanguard 2 or the, Ra I mean, the Vanguard series as a whole is just the fact that it is so lightweight. It is the absolute most minimalist way that you can carry. Now, let's take a look at the... Um, there's two different versions, okay, of the Vanguard 2 Advanced. Uh, you have the belt clip version, which is what I've got on here now. All right. And we're, do, we're going to do a comparison here in just a moment. Uh, but also, too, I want to show you the belt loop version of the product as well. So you got two different flavors, if you will. All right, so what I've got right here is the original uh, from Raven Concealment, the Vanguard 2. Now, they made a lot of changes to this. We're going to go over this. Um, real quick, right off the top, you can notice I made some changes here to the original. This had a piece of plastic that stuck out to about here with a hole in it for a lanyard. I was never going to use that, so I shaved that off and it was a lot more comfortable for me. Now, if you'll notice here, you see these walls, retainer walls, whatever you want to call them. Uh, this plastic piece here and here, what that does is that prevents this arm from being adjustable to have a more aggressive cant. Now, of course, you can adjust this up. You can see the holes there. You can adjust this up, and, and you could turn this into a little bit more aggressive if you want to, okay? But there's still some hindrances with this. Now, that was fixed with the Vanguard 2 Advanced. They completely redesigned that to now you have much more flexibility 
so you're able to have a much more aggressive cant. Now, um, so since I am a right-handed shooter, let me grab my weapon here. It is clear and safe. Since I'm a right-handed shooter, this is how I would don the weapon. And because this uh, arm here is a lot more um, flexible, I would be able to move this here, tighten this up, which is in return it's going to adjust this back piece of my uh, weapon here it's going to pull it in closer to the center of my body which is going to make it more concealable okay which is one of the features i really like about it however with every pro there is a con if you'll notice here let me move this arm do you see this area here this is going to be the channel and we're going to take a look at that here in just a second so as you go to draw your weapon this claw creates this void here, which allows your fingers to slide easily inside to be able to get a really firm grip when you go to draw that weapon. If I adjust this all the way over, that prevents me from being able to do that as smoothly and effectively, okay? So, with that being said, let's take a look at some of the other changes that have been made. Since I just pulled that off the um, guard of the gun itself, um, let's go ahead and hit that point up real quick. That is one of the things that I've noticed right off the bat that is different. This provides a lot tighter snap uh, placement on the actual trigger guard itself. Now you, if you'll notice that I've had some modifications done to my trigger guard. This does not affect that at all because what it's actually latching onto is the inside of this channel or inside of your trigger guard here. Okay, so it doesn't affect that at all. Now, I noticed that with the Vanguard 2, now this didn't happen very often, but it would happen from time to time. Let's say I was just in a very, uh, maybe a unnatural position. I went to go, I dropped my keys and I went to go pick them up and, you know, it just, the way that I just, you know, maybe compromised this, I would notice that sometimes that this guard would pop off. It would slide off just a little bit. Now I could just simply adjust that inside the pants. I'd just grab it and I could hear it click back into place. But that was always something that, that worried me and it's something that bothered me. Um, I carried this one for over three weeks uh, before I ever started doing a video review and I, and I have not had any uh, similar issues to that and I've tried to duplicate it and I've not been able to successfully. Now the one that I have been carrying personally is this one here. Now the reason that I like this one so much is it's a little bit thinner profile. It's a lot flatter. Now let's take a look at the comparison between the two in relation to height. Now, I'm doing the best job I can to make it as even as possible, but do you see how this loop sits up a little bit tighter or a little bit taller? Now, this is flexible, okay? Don't get me wrong, uh, but it's going to take you some time to get that as flexible as it needs to be. I believe it's going to push out on the shirt just a hair. Um, and I think that's the reason why I like the uh, smoothness and the low profile of this clip a lot better. It's very fast, very efficient um, in, in comparison uh, to this one. Now, uh, there are a lot of guys that I've talked to, a lot of shooters, that would this would not cut it for them. So that's one of the things that I have to applaud Raven Concealment for is that right off the bat, they went ahead and came out with two versions because they know that there are a lot of fans out there that just you know, would not have any other way um, than, than the actual belt loop itself, okay? So I do appreciate them thinking about the, uh, the other group itself and came out with this clip. So let's take a look at it and how it actually sits on the body and how it, the belt claw helps create that channel that we discussed earlier. All right, so uh, I don't have any uh, concealment uh, belt or anything special, just a regular belt. This is what I wore to work today. Um, now you can see, hopefully from this angle, you can see this channel. You can see the belt claw down inside of here. Okay, so essentially what it does is it allows, it pushes the belt out, and this is where it stops. So I have this channel here that my fingers can slide into. Okay, very, very easily. Now, what I was referring to earlier is that if I was to adjust this here, okay, tighten this up, um, you'll notice that this comes up right right inside the middle of that channel. So if I went to go draw, it really interferes with my ability to get my fingers down inside of there uh, actually quite a bit. Okay, so again, with every pro, there is a con. So I honestly 
generally will carry it exactly the way that it is right now and you can even see from this angle it is still very nicely tucked against the body um, again I, I'm not sucking in this is just you know everything that I've got in all of its glory so I think that you guys will be pleasantly surprised with the addition of the claw as well as the minimalism uh, uh, that the Vanguard 2 Advance provides. All right, so let's take a look at some uh, different shirts. Well, one, for example, is a athletic, uh, just a polo shirt. Just give you a little bit of preview. Again, I'm, I'm not sucking in my stomach, uh, anything of that nature. I'm just letting you guys know that um, that their products and this particular one is just as concealable as all the other Vanguard 2. So let's take a look at a different shirt. Ah, that was a lot easier. Uh, this is a Under Armour Athletic shirt. Just to give you a little bit of idea of the uh, material, how thin it is. You know, just let you know, there it is. Still very concealable. Okay, have no problems uh, concealing this in any situation, anywhere I go. Let's try one more shirt real quick. All right, so this is the uh, final shirt. Uh, this is, uh, got to give a shout out to my boys, uh, Team Never Quit, Marcus Luttrell. Uh, very concealable. There it is. You just, you, you just can't tell, so... Anyway, that's just to give you a little bit uh, uh, preview of how concealable it is uh, depending on uh, your particular wardrobe. Alright guys, and for all you lefties out there, do not worry. Raven Concealment did not forget about you. I want to make sure that I mention real quickly for you lefties there, uh, you also have a claw that uh, will work for you, so that that way you can carry the weapon properly um, inside your package. Now, if you order, of course it's going to depend on what kit that you order, if you order the uh, clip itself. You, your uh, package will come with a, again, a left-sided uh, uh, belt claw. It'll come with a one and a half inch clip and a 1.75 clip. Uh, and then, of course, if you order uh, the one for the uh, belt loop itself, then you will just get the uh, left-handed clip for it as well. All right, guys, so um, I want to thank you for stopping by the channel and checking out this review. want to give a special shout-out and a thank you uh, to Raven Concealment for uh, graciously sending me these products for testing and review. Uh, make sure to click the uh, description button or, or see more uh, at the bottom of the video, and you can see some links that I'm going to put down in there uh, to some additional reviews and information and links to um, Raven Concealment's website where you can get your own Vanguard 2 Advance. Um, Make sure to click the uh, like and the share button. That's uh, what gives the uh, video exposure. Also, too, if you are not a subscriber, I know that I'm going to get a lot of questions about the uh, custom work on my Glock. Uh, make sure that you do subscribe and stay tuned. Uh, here in a few weeks, I'll be going over a full detailed review of the, uh, the company that done the custom work on my Glock. All right, until next time, guys, stay safe.